What is going on guys? It is Alric Phoenix. This is some sniping gameplay again. Uh, well, sniping shotgun. I'm using my trusty overkill class because, you know, I, I need to kill people in one shot. So for me, that's Remington shotgun and ballista. Normally I'd use the DSR, but slums, I use it. And I'm using, for both of them, my uh, nice pretty pink cherry blossom camo because I thought it looked cute. And yes, I care about cute. So here you go. Uh, first round, I am perfect. I, I play perfectly. You know, it's it's not. I'm not getting a hundred kills in a round. I am playing perfectly, which to me is more important because it's it's just it's good. It's just it is what it is. It, it was a thoroughly dominating match. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Um, if you want, I really only had one thing on my mind, but uh, I'll get to that in a sec. Mostly because, you know, we're like a week away from the new, from E3. Uh, you know, for someone that works in video games, E3 is still a big thing. You know, I went to, once to the uh, Tokyo Game Show. So I was in Japan, totally at uh, a game conference. That was one of the highlights of things I've ever done. You know, because because when you're sitting there and you're like you're actually looking at some of like these giant booths from like Capcom, where they're debuting, I think it was Street Fighter Five at the time. Like it's it's pretty amazing. You know, even you know it doesn't matter if you got to work there or not. You're you're still pretty blown away by some of that stuff. Uh, and the Nintendo conference, like the Wii was had only been out for like I guess well, I guess the Wii had been out for two and a half years at that point, but they were just starting to get some uh, some of the good games out. And, you know, it's, it's awesome, and, you know, theoretically, they're going to have an actual trailer, hopefully, for Call of Duty, because they're also going to be debuting, I guess, the new Xbox, and possibly the PS4? I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure, but I know I am getting pretty excited to see, to see some of this. Uh, I'd love to see some actual Call of Duty gameplay, but then... I'd have to deal with 800 people re-uploading the trailer and breaking every bit of the trailer down. And the problem is, you know, I don't know if... Uh, because you guys are watching me which and watching Call of Duty video, I assume that you're probably pretty hardcore into Call of Duty, just like I am. Which is awesome. But I really feel like, um, you know, watching some of these trailer analyses kind of ruined it for me. I mean, not ruined it for me. You know, you want a little bit of surprise. I don't want to always jump in with the best knowledge and be like, okay, so I already know not to use this gun, this gun, this gun. You know, I want to figure some of this stuff out. So I've really got to try this year to stay away from any of these analysis things because I just, I just don't want. I've, I've already mentally started doing that, but you know, it, it's something I gotta, gotta work on. I had a good weekend. Um, so, you know, uh, when people get older, you know, like grandpa age, like me, 30 years old, which is funny, uh, people kind of settle into a general old person routine. And, you know, it's okay, I guess, but part of the reason it happens is you lose that, I guess that that outlet, that thing that really kind of drives you, because everyone kind of takes a job, and then they kind of do the job, and they don't like the job, but they do it, you know, that's, that's a trap, don't fall into that trap, uh, you know, I, sorry, it, you know, have, having, having a decent job and everything, that's, that in itself is not the trap, it's the fact that that's it, they, they do that, then they kind of go home, and they don't really do, they don't really have an outlet, um, you know, I'm lucky because I work in video games as well as play video games and then I make a video about video games. It's literally pretty much all I do all day is, is talk about video games. But that's because this is also, my job is also my creative outlet. Like right now, I'm working with the clan to make, you know, we're working on emblems and intros and things like that because... You know, I, I literally went to art school because this this is a nice artistic outlet. I just, really, it's you gotta make make sure, as you, especially when you get older, that you gotta have that artistic outlet. Otherwise, 
you just kind of end up... I don't want to say existing, but it, it's... You don't you you kind of start drifting. You don't you don't feel like you're contributing. You don't feel like you're really doing something. And, and often, an artistic outlet is good. That's why if someone wants to make a Call of Duty video, I say do it. Make any game video. I don't care. Do whatever. You know, my videos get 10 views. Do you, do you think that's gonna stop me from making the video? No. I'm gonna keep doing it. I don't care about money on this. I'm doing this purely for artistic outlet. And because, you know, shooting people's fun and people like to shoot people in video games only. Uh, this is digital paintball to me. Anyways, I just really wanted to say do art. You know, just, you gotta do art. Uh, that's it for me, guys. I'm gonna go eat a pizza. Peace out.